In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest blitz to set up in Madden 22. It's the fastest blitz too. It might be one of the best. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on YouTube. Now, guys, I haven't talked a ton about the Dime 236 Will, but I wanted to do a quick breakdown Really simple blitz. This was ran in the Madden Bowl and I haven't talked about it too much. So I did want to do a video on it real quick for those of you that don't know. Um, this is a really good blitz and it does a lot of stuff that is very helpful to your defense. It, it blitzes. Um, but the other thing that it does and, and really important is that it contains the quarterback well. Um, it's very good contain uh, style of defense. Something to help a little bit with the escape artist. And it's really, it's, it's, I think personally, this is one of the better blitzes in the game for bunch or any compression set. Bunch, bunch tight end, gun tight slots, tight uh, gun tight offset. Um, some of those formations that, uh, you know, again, escape artist is so hard to guard. This is a decent little concept. So very simple setup, very, very, very simple setup. So Dime236, well, I'm gonna be dropping an ebook on this defense in probably a couple of days on my patreon i have i had an ebook written honestly didn't uh didn't publish it because i was still kind of messing with it and uh i feel like it's time to go ahead and put it out there so if you want to check out that ebook um by joining our patreon you get access to all of my madden ebooks i have over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks in the membership so this is going to be uh, ebook number I think 21 or 22 on the year so uh, you get access to all those ebooks by being a member and you also get access to our weekly update videos where we kind of share some of the meta and 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 what we need to kind of know about how the game is shifting week to week and different things like that so if you want to get access to that uh, I'm going to put a link to our membership in the description edge blitz 2 out of dime 236 will very simple setup all you're going to do is QB contain. That's it. And if you user this guy, that's fine. Um, and what you'll see is this looping blitz will uh, typically come around the edge. Now, if you want it to be a little bit better than, than that, um, and again, just QB contain, and literally you should see it come in this time. If it doesn't, if it doesn't come in like that, if you spread your linebackers, it's pretty good. And then the, the, the next step I'm gonna show you in just a second makes it really, really good. So again, you can kind of stand like right in here, shoot the run, um, and there you see the edge blitz. So just a simple little NCAA blitz spinner concept, very simple uh, defense. But what I wanna share with you now is how you can make this even better uh, than, than that. And what we're gonna do is we're going to spread our linebackers. Now, what I like to do is I actually like to use or this guy but I like to stand right here. And the reason why is because if they run the ball, um, if they run the ball, it's really easy to shoot back there. Um, it's really hard um, to shoot up, up uh, over here. So I'll show you what I mean. So if they run the ball here and I'm standing right in here, this is, this is almost impossible to blow up base. But if you're standing on the other side, it's a lot easier. So just simply spread your linebackers, contain, and then you're gonna come over here and kind of stand like right in this area. That's what I like to do. And then if they run, it's a lot easier to kind of fly in and, and die from the backside. To me, it's the easiest way to shoot. Um, you know, you if, if you're not worried about the run, then you could stand right here. Another thing you can do with this is you could actually come all the way around and try to shoot from the backside. I think that's a really hard shoot for base. It's really easy against inside zone. But the next thing that we can do with this is we can actually get two vertical hooks out of this. So I like to go ahead and put the nickel corner on the left that's blitzing in a contain and I like to shade my coverage down. So you see, this is how the defense looks. Now, if you wanna recloud your outside guys, feel free to do that. Um, another really good tip is to put your flats on 10 and your hooks on five. Very good blitzing uh, zone drops. Uh, but what you can see here again, we're gonna stand right in here. I love to sit right here with my user and just kind of come into the center and you see how good this is. Even if you don't get the, sh uh, the loop to come around the edge, um, you're going to be able to get the user, or not the user, but the double team uh, guy, the nose tackle to come in. So you see just a simple blitz 
it does not work every time, but when it does work, it is really, really good. Um, if you don't want to spread the linebackers, I don't, you don't have to, if you, if you, if you spread your linebackers, it makes the first setup easier. But when you're zoning out that nickel corner, it's a little bit better in my opinion, if you don't do that, see how that time it comes in very clean. And again, it's a very good bunch defense. Um, very, very good bunch defense. Now, another thing that you can do with this, um, another thing that you can do with this is you can kind of stand like right over here, if you will. And if they run base, you can kind of shoot from right here. That's a, a, also a possibility. Um, I want to show you this. Uh, this is also a really good defense uh, for trips tied in. I'll show you that. Play action is definitely a great way that the opponent can try to pick this up. But I want to show you something interesting against trips tied in. So what you're going to see in trips tied in, of course, we're going to contain. We're going to purple or um, I'm sorry, yellow that guy. And then, you know, this guy. You know he's going to be over here so you notice that we can put our you know our, our guy on the right in a vert hook we can also through packages kind of get some additional adjustments that i think are very advantageous like thirds okay great for trips tied in but against pa counter go notice that the running backs over on the left side so um it doesn't always it definitely doesn't come in very well against play action but there is potential for that loop to come in and uh you know be very very good for you so that's the trip. So then I want to show you compression real quick and why this is so good, um, specifically against a compression set. So edge blitz is so good against a compression set because if you think about it, most people when they're in compression, they want to roll out. So all we're doing here is we're gonna ah, mess my mess my guys up. Let me see if I can reset that. Zone that guy out. My play art's kind of glitched here, but basically, you know that guy is gonna be looping around the edge if you need to move him out here that's fine you can always do that um but anyway here you see it there he's just kind of containing but it's just very helpful see him fly in it's just very very helpful for containing the mobile quarterback so again it's real simple all you do is contain that's literally it um if you're like let's say you're playing compression you might want to press um let's say you're playing compression then just just move this guy out if he's ever not coming in just move him out a little bit more and he should come in just fine and then again you see here we've got you know the ability to put our our corner into that zone and then you know we can be over here shooting the run this is a very good because they can't roll out away from it and they have to kind of force this um you know and, and, and again obviously it's not going to be there for you so very simple i think this is best against bunch but it is decent against compression another little cool trick um i was doing this at the beginning of the year but you can move that guy down and actually kind of rely on him and what you'll see here is you'll get this little b gap so there's ways that you don't have to like move the linebacker um you know against compression you can also flip it um and what you'll see is if you flip it you can move this guy back out kind of like so i wouldn't flip it necessarily against you know someone that's running a lot of quick snap type plays but you know this little looping concept again it's great for contain if at the very least that's all you're using it for so against bunch i think it's the best because it's got a really clear path to the quarterback it really loops around well um to be able to to come in against any kind of like tray open uh you know any kind of trips trips to one side back to the other side um and the tight end is in the trips this is a really really simple blitz that you can use so again you know real simple blitz but if you want to learn the rest of the defense join our patreon um i'm gonna put a link to that in the description and that will uh, teach you everything that we've got in there from not just 236 will but you get all the ebooks that we've released so far this year 335 odd about to get a major update um kind of expanding on this concept um you can actually do this concept from several formations i was doing this how to 335 odd earlier this season and again there's just a lot you can do with this but as you can see i mean just very very good blitz and very good contained so add this to your arsenal especially against bunch and you're gonna have a lot of success thanks for watching the video again if you want to get our patreon there's a link in the description below to sign up for that only ten dollars and it gets you access to everything that we have in madden 22 thanks for watching